my hair is annoying. Okay, so check it out. There's a little swarm of ants moving along the ground. It's about a foot long, maybe a foot and a half long. And they're red. <laughs> and they're moving along, you know, in this direction. And it's really interesting because it's like literally the whole group moving along. It reminds me of Siafu or something, except, you know, on a much smaller scale and not quite as terrifying. Now they're over here. This is so cool. So here's the front of the swarm moving along. I wonder if a scout has laid down a trail. It must be the case. I mean, they, they all are walking with an intent and they know exactly where they're going. Are these fire ants? What are they doing? Actually, I think these are slave takers or um, what do you call it? Kidnapper ants. Holy cow. What that means is these kidnappers have scouts throughout the landscape looking around for colonies to invade in order to replenish their ranks. When a scout finds a promising colony to invade, she'll come back and let the rest of the colony know, hey, I found a good source. At that point, they all pretty much assemble just outside the nest. I wish I saw that. And when they're ready, the invasion begins. They seem to run away from my finger when I put it down. Look at that. They give me a wide girth. I wonder why. Listen to that. But this is obviously some sort of raid of some kind. As long as the inhabitants of this colony put up no resistance, the invaders will not harm them whatsoever. Basically, if they throw their hands up in the air, the invaders will move right past them, grab the pupa, and then head back home, which in a perfect raid can result in little to no violence at all. This is incredible. Okay, whatever's going on, this is really cool. Uh, because they came to this spot here, they started going on the ground, so I think maybe they found a nest of another species of ant. And I saw two of them come out with large pupa, and now the ones with the pupa and several others are going back the way they came. Are these a type of slaveholding species? Because there are slaveholders, and some very incredibly fascinating things have been recorded with slaveholders. I don't know what's going on, but that's my best guess. I have to really make sure that I'm not in their path or that none of them come on to me because I don't know what species this is. I don't know how much it hurts if they sting. This is so cool. They're going back the way they came. Okay, so what I find really fascinating about these kidnapper ants is the fact that when they bring back their hostages, for lack of better words, they will imprint them with their own scent. So as they grow and develop, they pretty much recognize these kidnappers as their own colony, their own family. That's really neat. So they grow up to take on all the chores and tasks that they would if this was their own colony. And that's almost where the Achilles heel is for the, the kidnapper ants because they become so specialized on, you know, capturing and carrying pupa of other species that their mandibles can't do anything else. They can't complete tasks. They can't even chew their own food. They need their captives to do it for them and then basically hand feed them. So in a way, it's almost like they become prisoners of their own captives. They are definitely going back, you know, the way they came from. And many of them now have pupa in their jaws. And it's not quite the concentrated mass as it was on the way out. Now it's more of a, a bit of a trickle or a stream. But they've all turned around. Now they're coming back this way with captives. Okay, you, you see that mound right there? It's not really a mound, but they're underneath that debris. That is where the colony is at the moment. 
that's their return location. So I guess that's their their base camp for right now. I don't know if they spend all their time there or if they move on, you know. But that's where they were coming from and that's where they went back to. That's where they returned. And uh, that was so cool. I would love to dig my hands in there and look around, but I'm not doing that. Okay, so that whole thing just lasted maybe two minutes, give or take. Once they got to the location, it took them about two minutes to conduct that raid and then start heading back. That was incredible. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really glad. Talk about very lucky timing that, you know, I got here and I started looking around just at the right moment to almost catch the beginning of the whole endeavor. Um, so anyways, if you found that cool, like I did, awesome. And uh, I've got all sorts of other videos on my channel um, of similar stuff, just not as hmm, dramatic as that was. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, and I'll see you in the next adventure.